word got around that I was going to Korea to play shows and meeting my parents. So like a lot of Korean adoptees in Minnesota contacted me and they were like, hey, you know, let's hang out. Maybe I'll go to Korea and see if we can like come to your shows and also help you with your parents. Cause I need a translator there too, you know, like I don't know where to go in Korea. And plus there were Korean adoptees that I met in Korea who helped me. They were like my guardian angels. I don't know how it all just managed to ha- like, I got like a huge support system there. They walked me where I needed to go. They helped, one of them helped me, Kim Thompson. I don't know if you guys know her, but she's a super big activist in adopt, you know, Korean adopty. Um, and she helped me find the, the place where, you know, the organization. Um, and she sat there with me as I met my parents. And then after that, like, I, I, I was just like, in a daze, I didn't, I, I was in a different world, like, but at the same time, I had shows to play and I had to be at certain venues and I don't know Korean. So how do I get around and how do I get from like my, um, how my, the place I stayed to all these places. And through that, I met all these people, these Korean adoptees in Korea. And they were, they were like me, like I felt comfortable around them because they had tattoos too and they you know were not about being different they just wanted to have a good time and find like camaraderie and so that that really helped me to feel more comfortable with myself and to let me myself know that I do have a support system where I don't have to talk about being Korean adopted but we all have that like we can hang out. We know, you know, oh, you're having a bad day. You don't need to explain it. We're cool. What do you need? What do you need? You know, like you need some time away. Cool. I understand. Like there was just a total acceptance and understanding without any explanation, but a support system. Like, well, if you need, if you need something, please, I'm there for you. Mm-hmm. Is that kind of that I never really had? I felt like that was the closest I would get to like, not necessarily unconditional love, but like, you know, familial support. You know, like oh, we look like each other. We got it. I got mm-hmm. you. You know, and so that was a new level of like identity of self-awareness of acceptance of my self-acceptance you know and uh, it gave me like it built up it built up my self my muscular self-acceptance like you know I was I, I feel okay and then I could feel proud on top of that 